Wheatney sells two types of replacement hard drives for TiVo bolts, internal and external drives. The point of this video is to both show you how these two options look and also to discuss the benefits of each option. Many of you already know that the Bolt was the first TiVo made that used smaller, miniaturized hard drives. These are the hard drives that were developed for use in laptop and notebook computers. Previously, TiVos all used the larger hard drives that were the size of drives used in desktop computers. At Wheatney's, we're a little puzzled as to why TiVo made the change. The key benefits of the smaller drives are, are smaller size and lighter weight, both for portability. But no one really carries their TiVo around with them. So we're not sure that that made a ton of sense. The larger hard drives, while naturally heavier, really last much longer than these miniaturized ones. But using one does mean you have an extra component in your living room. Customers come to us both to increase the capacity in their TiVo and, and to repair failed unit. For those customers who need to know if their hard drive has failed, we'll show you first the most obvious sign of a failed hard drive in a TiVo bolt. That's when the four lights on the front of the TiVo flash in unison. It doesn't really matter how fast they flash, but if they're all flashing together, that basically means you have a failed hard drive. So the unit will often start up with a single light solid like this, and eventually, pretty soon, it'll go to that flashing pattern that you're seeing right there, or something similar. So once you have that problem, should you fix the unit? If you have lifetime service on the unit, meaning you don't pay a monthly fee to TiVo for service, then yes, you should fix the unit. If you pay monthly or annually for service, then you'll have to decide whether it's worth repairing your unit or replacing it entirely. One reason to repair your unit is if you want to try to save your data. So if you want to try to save your data, we'll talk about that in a moment, about sending your unit to us for data recovery. Okay, once you've decided to repair your unit or to upgrade your unit, you need to decide whether you want to get an internal or an external drive. At Wheatney's, our recommendation is to get an external drive solution. We really think these externals last much longer than internals, and they're also less expensive and potentially can hold many more hours of recordings. At the moment, our largest external drive can hold 14 terabytes of recordings, while our largest internal can only hold 3 terabytes of recordings. Probably the question we get asked most about these external upgrades is, how big is it and how does it look? So here we have a side-by-side -side comparison for you of a unit with an external and a unit without an external. Here's the unit with the external, and the external can sit on a stand so it sits vertically. We also send every external kit with a, an eSATA extension cable, so if you'd rather have your TiVo further from the external for some reason, you can certainly use this extender and get I don't know, several feet away from the uh, TiVo with the external drive. When you use an external with your bolt, we swap out the small part of the case lid with a new one that has been nicely modded in to allow our custom cable to exit. Here's an example in black. If your TiVo bolt is white, we have one for you in white also. The external drive does have its own power supply that will need a wall outlet. And there's also a fan on the external drive case, which is one of the reasons that the external will typically last longer. So here's the setup of a bolt with an external compared to that of a bolt with an internal replacement drive. Okay. Now that we've discussed our different configuration options, there's another decision you need to make here, and that's whether to send the unit into us for the upgrade or to do it yourself. While this upgrade is a bit more complicated than upgrades on earlier TiVo models, we still don't think it's too tough for anyone to do, but of course we're happy to do it here in our facility. We have videos of changing your drive with both an internal and external, so feel free to watch those to get an idea of the process. The other piece of info you need to know about making the decision of whether to send it into us or to do it yourself is about saving your data. Let me be clear. We cannot guarantee that we can save your data ever, but we have been having a, f a lot of success saving data on Bolt so far, far more than in previous TiVo models. We think our success rate is now about 80%, assuming that your unit failed with the four flashing lights that I showed earlier. If your unit is working fine and you are just sending your unit in for more capacity, then we should have no problem at all in migrating your data over to a larger replacement drive. So that's a good reason to send your unit into us for the repair and upgrade, that you want us to attempt to save your data. Of course, sending your unit into us for the upgrade does take a bit more time, and we also do have a charge if we do the labor here. But the do-it-yourself kits are also great options. We include the tools you'll need along with printed instructions, and you'll have our videos to refer to also. Thanks for watching.